I'm Lieutenant Brian Rue with the State Patrol. School buses are the safest mode of transportation for getting students to and from school. With that said, there are a few things we want you to keep in mind while on or around the school bus. On the bus, it may be tempting to want to goof around and have fun with your friends. Hey guys, let's not do that. It's going to distract the bus driver, okay? But you need to remember that students can do their part in helping the bus driver get to school or get you home safely. Just turn around and sit forward in your seats, please, and get your things out of the aisle. The bus driver needs to concentrate on driving at all times. They can't be distracted by kids misbehaving in the back. Hey, this is nice. Can I have a happy? Just one distraction can take a bus driver's eyes off the road. And when that happens, crashes can happen in the blink of an eye. Turn around and sit down in your seat, please. We want your bus driver to be able to drive safely. And having well-behaved students on the bus is going to help the driver do their job. Safety on the bus starts at the bus stop. It's important for students to arrive at the bus stop at least five minutes early so they are not running into the street or down the sidewalk to get to the bus at the last second. Remember to respect the property of others while waiting for the bus. As the bus arrives, students should form a single line and wait on the sidewalk or a safe spot away from the road. Allow the bus to come to a complete stop. Don't start moving until the driver signals that it's safe to do so. Once the doors are open and the bus driver gives you the signal to board the bus, give your fellow students enough room to step onto the bus and walk to their seats. Don't crowd each other and don't push or rush to get to your favorite seat. There are plenty of spots for everyone. Always avoid the danger zones. The danger zone is any area within 10 feet of the bus. Especially avoid the areas directly in front of and towards the right rear of the bus. Once you are on the bus, make sure you stay seated until the bus comes to a full stop at your destination. Never cross the street without waiting for the driver's signal that it's safe to cross. If you must cross the street, always cross in front of the bus. Walk at least 10 feet in front of the bus so the driver can see you at all times and know that all of the students have made it safely across the road. When we are on the bus, it's important we do our job to help the bus driver out. We need to make sure not to distract the bus driver. That means no fighting, throwing things, or standing up on the bus. We all need to help the bus driver concentrate on driving. When we are heading to school or home, we should use our inside voices. Keep our hands to ourselves, keep the aisle clear, and stay seated with our backs against the seat. This will let the bus driver see us in their mirror and keep you safe if we are ever in a crash. Finally, if you see kids not following the school bus safety rules, it's all of our responsibility to help the bus driver. Don't be afraid to speak up and tell your friends to sit down or stop throwing objects. Let's not do that, okay? While school bus crashes are rare, it's important to always know how to evacuate the bus safely. Hey, everybody, we have to remain calm. In the event of an emergency, it may be necessary to evacuate. If the bus driver is injured and can't communicate with the students, the students should evacuate and call for help. As we evacuate, I need everybody to go into the field about 30 yards away. The older students on the bus may need to take charge and help the younger students evacuate. Yeah, there are three types of emergency exits inside most buses. One in the rear of the bus and another one or two on the roof. Most buses also have side emergency exit windows. Everybody line up in a single file line, we'll exit out the back. The entrance door can be used as a point of evacuation. Leave all your items on the bus, we'll get those later. If evacuation is necessary, students should always use the closest and safest exit to get off the bus. Is everybody all right? Remain calm and leave all of your belongings on the bus. Proceed directly to the best exit. I need the older students to help. We need to do an emergency exit out of the roof hatches. If the bus rolls on its side, the safest exit may be on the roof. You may need to help each other through the emergency exit. Okay, good job, guys. Get away from the bus. Once you're outside of the bus... Okay, we need a single file line. We need to cut off everybody, make sure everybody's all right. Students should all meet and stay together in a safe place that is away from other traffic, danger areas, fire, smoke, or other responding vehicles. Is there anybody hurt? Bus safety is all of our responsibility. All right guys, see you tomorrow. Each student riding the bus should commit to helping keep everyone safe so we can all get home at the end of the day.